mountain heights of heaven's land now invoke the master plan because it's our divine birthright we're given back our cosmic sight at dawn of life we were so high with the angels we did fly we now ascend to higher plane the ancient times come again. Tis in the name of holy peace that all our blessings now increase. Our great abundance now comply with power of our single eye. We bless the darkness, make it right, reverse the tide and free the light. God, goddess, make our power ever pure, else let the power not endure. We love and lift our fellow man and woman and understand the master plan for us. There's simply nothing new other than what we once knew, what we always knew. First eye spin its speed of light within without come now our sight. Mighty spirit Elohim make truth of this, our cosmic dream. Yes, our eye is really single with light, our bodies do now tingle. Oh, our souls are so brand new, we now know all that we once knew. Let there be God, capstone of our souls, unfailing spirit fulfill our goals. Let there be power in the word of our mouth. We conquer with faith, dissolve fear and doubt. Let there be wisdom as the fuel of our knowledge. Let it be ablaze within our heart. We must be consistent in the game of life that wisdom may finish what knowledge did start. Let there be love in the work of our hand. Our life is a blessing unto God and man and war man. Let there be peace as the wings of our mind, O sun of serenity around us, shine. Let there be joy of truth bubbling in our souls. O dissolver of sadness, come make us whole. Let there be abundance raining down upon us, our life be enriched with prosperity. And there is the fulfillment of let there be, for life will always give us, but as far as we can see. Let there be, let there be, let there be. And there is, and there was, and there ever shall be. Oh my goddess, what a beautiful and sacred moment. Our being knows no limit. We are God, goddess within horizon of this moment with eternity we blend. Every space is here, every time is now, everyone is us full, awakening of eternal remembrance, that in which we trust. Immortal hands, immortal body, immortal energy, immortal healing, we as God and Goddess do all that they will ever do. A man, a woman, a God, a Goddess, we be absolute reality, so it is, and blessed be. On mountain heights of heaven's land, we now invoke the master plan. Oh yeah, it's our divine birthright and we're given back our cosmic sight call the spirit of abundance money money crystallize stream right now into our hands golden sun within us rise and let abundance take a stand we allow the manifestation big financial compensation great success come along sing with us prosperity song we allow the manifestation, big financial compensation, great success, come along, sing with us, prosperity song. 
We are filled with inspiration. Gold now fills our situation. With our heart, we thank you, Lord. All we want, we can afford. Let it not only be for us. Let all the world be rich and free. Let love and peace and truth abound in our life. The world around. In our hands be ceaseless action. Bringing wealth and satisfaction. With God, vision and reflection, see our money's resurrection. Blessings here and all about. Courage, faith, and wisdom sprout. Gold for us is everywhere. And with all we ever share. Let good fortune go before us, right beside us and behind us all with money. Now adore us with gold and emeralds they adorn us here's the vision we now see our love has brought reality oh yes it does exist for us the angels have now set us free welcome to ascension live beloved i am your host the part of you who is astarius Miraculi. I champion you into the remembrance of who you are and what you are, who we are and what we are. Coming home to the divinity of our soul. As we are in this world initiation with a triple helping of uncertainty on our plate. I'm thanking you, beloved, for knowing that you are empowered by everything, even the uncertainty as to what is unfolding within our world. So we have this triple helping of uncertainty and each and every one of us have to eat up whether we like it or not. Uncertainty is in the building. Uncertainty is on our plate. And even while we are in the midst of this uncertainty, there is a grand resonance of the certainty of the eternal nature of our being. There may be an uncertainty about what is immediately unfolding into our future, our immediate future, and yet there is the certainty that we are eternal beings. There is the certainty that who we are as essence of spirit will never cease to be. There is the certainty that we are descendants of God Almighty. There is the certainty that we are the microcosmic container of the macrocosmic all that is. There is the certainty that each and every one of us is a walking universe. And so even while we have the uncertainty of what is unfolding in our immediate future, let us rest our head in the lap of the certainty that we are eternal beings. Resting in the certainty that, that we are descendants of God Almighty. Resting in the certainty that there is no negative thing and no disease and no virus that will ever outdistance even one of us. No matter how many times we lay a body down, we are eternal in the essence of the spirit that we are. So I thank you for joining in 
with Ascension Live and uh, a quick commercial. I am available for intuitive astrological readings, for sound healing transmissions with didgeridoo and vocal harmonics, practicing and teaching Reiki. I have uh, a great number of music albums which are available on my website, astarius.com, and a couple of books as well. All of the things that you hear me reciting are things that I have written and things that are in my book, Miraculous Song of Ascension. I also graciously receive donations if it moves you. If you are in appreciation for my offerings and you want to give a donation, I receive donations through Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, and also there is a donation button on my website, astarius.com, A-S-T-A-R-I-U-S. And so we are here to be in celebration of the divine power that we are endowed with. And we're becoming stronger beings. We are experiencing the multiplication of spirit, not so much in spite of our world crisis, but because of our world crisis we are meant to be empowered by everything and this is a time for us to up level the love that we feel for ourselves as I channel through a poem that I have written this divine love resonance all is well in the kingdom of this moment I love myself with all my heart as do you, eternal knowing God in part. No more hatred, no more pain, legacy of heaven mine to claim. Once I really hated me, self-induced catastrophe. Others began to hate me too. Hate's reflection became my due. When I look in any mirror, each reflection is my own. If I dislike that which I am, rejection by others will be shown. In self-acceptance, let me grow to hereby let all others know. I want them to accept me too. They only follow what I do. I ask myself to marry me, to thus fulfill my destiny. I promise always to be true self-love and honor I am due. Sweet self, I'm sorry for the pain. Forgive and love me once again. I want me for eternity, a better lover than to be. Now every bond is sweeter too, for loving me is loving you. Within the temple of heaven's house I do take me to be my spouse. Within the temple of heaven's house I do take me to be my spouse. I'd like to share with you Another selection from my book, this one I call The Unity Way. Every sister, every brother, every seeker of the truth. By the power of the Holy Spirit, this is what we are meant to do. Love and bless more fruitfully. Be more richly loved and blessed and every thought, word, and deed be a dance of godliness. We seek to know the unlimited quality of God that lives within the core of our soul. To succeed, we must acknowledge the ultimate quantity of God 
and this is our supreme goal. Whatever we do unto ourselves, be it goodness or sin, we do unto the whole universe, every one and thing herein. If we court with limitations, thinking and feeling small, our personal holding back will then block the growth of all. We must let go of our darkness and our acts of carelessness, else detain the whole universe in evolutionary progress, making the world suffer for the ways that we transgress. Let's renounce the selfishness of our separate human soul, for it is just a little part of God the mighty whole. Yes, God is our real self as we are now informed. Yet beyond our individual self, it is the supreme content of all forms. Oh, God is like an ocean from the beginning to the end. Everyone and everything are like the waves therein. The father, mother, ocean, the brother and sister waves, every element in the whole ocean is in each individual wave. Therefore, a study of the wave is a study of the ocean, and a study of man's spirit is a study of God the Supreme. And in the process of our studies, we receive the greatest blessing, knowing that the quickening of our spirit helps everyone and everything. And with this truth now married to our intentions, we see it, we feel it, we know it and endear it, for this is the truth of the omnipresence, the oneness of the wholeness of God, our spirit. So we embrace God's absoluteness in every thought, word, and deed of our directing, holding space for all that is, receiving of abundant blessings. Now like into a sky rocket with God's ultimate quality, we rise and the whole world shares the fruit of our glorious prize. For right along with our uprising, the whole universe grows tall Yes, the advancement of you or me is the advancement of all. Our light now shining brightly like the blazing sun. We have learned the unity way and we are all eternally one. Be the resonance of the oneness of the wholeness. So I'm going to bring in now a little bit of the frequency of the didgeridoo. Be in the affirmation of the sacred grandeur of your being. <clears throat> As I offer these sound currents.
Receive that frequency, be uplifted, be transformed as we now bring in the frequency of Reiki. I'm going to offer some transmissions of sound or some transmissions of Reiki vibration. So receive this energy and the transmission of Reiki be multiplied in spirit.
Blessings now increase my great abundance, now comply with power of my single eye. I bless the darkness, make it right, reverse the tide, and free the light. God, make my power ever pure, else let the power not endure. I love and lift my fellow man, I understand the master plan for me. There's simply nothing new except that which I always knew. First I spin a speed of light within, without them now my sight, almighty spirit, Elohim, it took the, this my cosmic dream. Oh yes, my eye is really single with light, my body does not tingle, oh my soul is so brand new, I now know all that I once knew. Life is beautiful, beloved. Life is so grand and so divine. If we knew how beautiful life is, we'd all be dancing all around. Oh, my goddess. Thank you for coming home to yourself. Thank you for remembering who you are. So at this point, I'd like to invite someone to come on live with me. <coughs> If you have some things that maybe you want to process or reason about, then uh, we can have some sacred sharing. Oftentimes that's a great blessing to everyone else. So just put in your request. And if you don't know exactly how to do it, the way, the way you do it, you first have to log out. Oh, somebody's sending a request. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, you log out and then you log back in and put your request in. So let's see who's who's asking here. Oh, we have some, we have the little witch. <laughs> well, it should be coming in, in, in a minute. There it come. Oh, let me turn this music down a little bit here. Peace and blessings to you. Can you hear me? I hear you. I think I'm going to turn this all the way off and I'll be able to hear you better. Make sure you're close enough to your microphone. And also, I want to see your whole face. You're like way down. If you can yeah, see. No, I can see that too. Wait a minute. Okay. Yeah. So, so what prompts you to come on today? Can you see me now? Yeah, what, what prompts you to come on? What are you, what are you reaching for in, in, in making this connection? I wanted to say that um, I've been here since the beginning. Like, I remember the beginning of all beginnings, I think, and all my lifetimes. And recently, of course, through this change, this rapid change that we're having, and all my work as a light worker, um, the recent changes have been so rapid that my assimilation is like I feel shaky or maybe even doubtful. I mean, my uh, pages and the people that I coach have increased and I have everything to be grateful for. I, specific, uh, I specifically remember so much about my most recent Okay, so let me ask, what's the, what's the but in there? I hear all what's those the, wonderful things going on. What is the but? Yes, I'm trying to zero in on where maybe my self-doubt is coming from. All of a sudden, I 
had this wave of self doubt when I've been kind of cruising along for a very long time. Okay. So let's take a look at that. Sometimes when self doubt comes in, sometimes it's yours exclusively, but then there's also times when you are processing a piece of world fear. You see, every light worker, everyone that's actually been doing this work and that are accelerated in consciousness have some accountability to help take care of our, our younger brothers and sisters. And our younger brothers and sisters who are lesser evolved on the planet are terrified they with are an scared. enormous amount of self-doubt. So it's possible that you're processing some of that. Not, that. not that there isn't a portion of it that is also yours. But what I would recommend that you do as you're feeling this self-doubt, because one thing that is always the case whenever there is a, an experience of doubt or any of those kinds of things, is that there is a disconnection from the resonance of the oneness of the wholeness that you are. You see, yeah. your doubt operates from a place of isolation and separation. So whenever you feel this doubt coming in, you might say, well, wait a minute, you know, in what way am I disconnecting from the all that is that I am? See, the universe that I am doesn't doubt. The yeah. universe that I am is infinite faith. The universe that I am is infinite courage. The universe that you are is infinite faith and infinite courage. Yeah. And so as you come into moments when you're up leveled in your faith and you're in that moment of your divine remembering, then you want to send a counterpart of that up level frequency back to those yester moments of doubt so that you can heal those moments. Like that's what we're doing right now. Yes. See, in this now moment, the yester moments of doubt that you were plagued with are being up leveled, accelerated in vibration to come into alignment with faith and courage. And so we want to be at peace with those moments of doubt. We don't want to try to beat up on them, yes. but we want to be at peace with them and be in the divine remembrance. So I thank you for remembering who you are. I thank you for coming home to yourself. You know, I, I thank you for knowing that you make a monumental impact upon the expansion of the universe. I thank you for knowing that your moments of doubt are just a temporary anomaly along the course of time. And that your doubt will never outdistance you because your doubt stays a number in that it is of time, whereas you are co-eternal with God Almighty. Yes. So I celebrate your times of remembering. You know, and I don't give focus attention to the doubt. I don't give any energy to that so that it won't be fed because every thought has enough intelligence to know that it must be fed vital energy to perpetuate its existence. Even doubt knows that. And yeah. if doubt is not being fed by you or me, it's going to go elsewhere where it might get fed. So yeah. anyway, thank you so much for coming on. And uh, um, is there a bottom line love note, just a little nugget that you'd like to share with everybody? It's a bottom line, not a big one, but a little something. <sighs> You, 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 I, you know, I know all this. I just guess I needed the confirmation. But the bottom line is that if you are feeling the doubt, that we are givers and receivers. So what comes into us, we transmit that in the love and we send it back out into the ripples of forever, eternity. Oh, beautiful. Thank you so much, beloved. I thank you for thank coming you. on. And I'm going to hold you in my heart and in my prayers. And I, I absolutely you so believe in your magnificence. And I you go ahead and be that and fly well on the wings of ascension and eternity. Peace and blessings. Thank you. Bye. Okay, anybody else want to come on and share with the miraculous one? <laughs> It's not always available, but it's available right now. So I know that somebody would like to to pop on and, and share. So I'm, I'm waiting for your request so that we can up-level even more. 
I'm looking at all of the beloveds who's waving and who's joined in. I just want you to know I love you so much. And I absolutely believe in the magnificence of your being. So while I'm waiting, oh, there we got one. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Uh, let's go live here. Victoria Valera. Victorious Valera. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Okay, Hi. peace and blessings, beloved. Hello. Yeah, and, and what is it that, that, uh, that prompts you to reach out and make this connection in this now moment? Oh, reconnecting with my divine reflection, which is you. <laughs> now, make sure you're a little bit closer to your, because your, I'm not hearing you very clearly. I want to hear you. Okay. Can you hear me better? A little bit. Uh, let's see. I have one other thing that I can do that might help. Let me see. If I do this, and I can bring you through my speakers, and then that is going to be a little better. Okay, go ahead and say something. Yes. Uh, I just feel like I am reconnecting say something. with... Are you still with, there? Can you hear me? Yes, I'm still here. Okay, we're not getting it. Let's see. Can you hear me? Okay, it's not coming from my speaker. So, um, you're just going to have to speak up. Speak up a little bit for me. I got a little technical mannishness going on here. Okay. Now we can say. I'll just speak directly I into the mic. Can you hear me? Well, I, I hear something, but I don't see you very well. I mean, I think I don't see you at all. You're like, you're like gone. Yeah, I was. I just wanted to speak directly into the mic so you can hear me. At least you can hear me. <laughs> okay. Well, well, let's let's do a little nutshell since we're having technical difficulties. What uh, um, uh, did you have a question that you'd like to ask? Um. I um no question. I just want I I just felt so drawn to um cl click onto your live and automatically okay. I just felt like I was connecting with another aspect of myself. I felt like um all my parts, you know, all my aspects of myself are coming back to me and I'm being reconnected and I feel a reconnection. I feel unity and I just wanted to acknowledge that and thank you so okay. much. Well you're absolutely welcome and infinitely worthy and, and definitely uh, I receive that acknowledgement and you know I hold that high intention for you and your life. I thank you for remembering who you are, coming home to your absoluteness, and also being the, the most amazing version of you as the universe that you can possibly be. So thank you so much for reaching out, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll stay connected. Keep me in your prayers. I'll keep you in mine. Okay? Much love. Okay, maybe we have... Uh, enough time for one or two more if there's a, a couple more that would like to, to tap in you
Peace and blessings, beloved. How are you? Okay, I don't hear you. There. Oh, I guess we have a little shyness in the building, but that's okay. So, you... Appreciate so much you tuning in to Ascension Live. I am Astarius Miraculi, loving you with the passion of heaven. Available for intuitive astrological readings and transmissions of sound healing with didgeridoo and vocal harmonics. I have a number of uh, music albums and a couple of books available on my website, astarius.com. And I also graciously receive donations if you feel so moved through Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, and I have a donation button on my website. So I'm going to try one more time uh, candles with intent. I brought them in before and then they disappeared. We're going to try it one more time and see. And we will conclude with this one here. Okay, can you hear me now? I can hear you, but I can barely see you. Are you in the dark over there? I <laughs> am in the dark a little bit. Yes. Okay, because see, the purpose, the purpose of bringing you on is to let everybody see your energy, feel your light. You know, mm -hmm. this is not for hiding in the shadows. <laughs> I wasn't trying to hide in the shadows. How about that? Better. Okay. Can you see me now? <laughs> that, that's better. That's better. Okay. So, so what is it that brings you into this now moment? What, what has prompted you to reach out in this moment? It's crazy because when I first came on, you said shyness is in the building, which is correct. I am shy, and I take it as um lack of confidence as far as um speaking. And Putting myself out there, like just being on here right now, my heart is going boom, 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 boom. Okay. So that's that's what brought me to to come. Well, on. thank you for your courage. You know that that even though your heart's beating fast, you know, thank you for pushing through that and and allowing yourself to be present and also allowing yourself to be seen. You know, see, there's 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 a blessing in that when you make yourself available in that way. And um, my courageousness in showing up is your courageousness in showing by extension. See, right. see, my my willingness to put myself out there is your willingness to put yourself out there by extension. But you got to hook up the battery cables and initiate the soul jump start. Right. You see, so what what I want for you to feel is feel the way in which you're dropping into peace. So your heart may have been racing really fast, but if you notice, there's a greater stillness mm -hmm. that's beginning to come over you. Right. And, and a disappearance of that apprehension of being seen. Right. See, you know, what you make available to the drop, you make available to the ocean. Okay. See, so we are a drop of beings here in the ocean of God-allness. 
But in making yourself available to those who are present within this live and those who will see it later, you're also, by macrocosmic extension, making yourself available to God Almighty. Right. So really feel into that. Okay. You know, that when you show up and when you're in the willingness to put yourself out there, that you're not just giving to the person or persons that are in that immediate now moment with you. You're giving unto Source Almighty, right. who is always appreciative of your showing up, always appreciative of the blessing that you share, and will always reciprocate a blessing back to you. That blessing may not come back through the same individual or individuals that you shared with. It may come back through a completely different individual source, but it comes back. Okay. And what's your name? Charmaine. Charmaine? Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and what, um, what is the most challenging thing going on in your life right now the most challenging thing going on in my life right now um well right now i'm working through a lot of trauma and it it is it, like deals with my heart chakra and i realized that when you do the work your heart chakra is like the biggest blockage to work on because it's okay. so deep. can you can you be a little more specific about the trauma what is what is this trauma Heartache. Um, a heartache. Neglect, neglect. Like from the ending of a relationship? Relationships. Um, males, like my like father figures. Um, any male that I ever dealt with. That okay, so you've been hurt a lot by men. A lot. A lot. Okay, so let's, let's offer some healing to the moment. I want you to really let this in now. Okay. On behalf of any man that has ever hurt you in any lifetime, I as a representative of all men, sacredly apologize to you. By the grace of God Goddess and the whole universe, our being, we give back to you any energy, any power ever falsely taken from you by any man or any woman, or any being, or anything in any lifetime. And we hold sacred space, Charmaine, for you to take back any energy, any power that you ever falsely gave away to any man, any woman, any being, anything in any lifetime. We're calling back all of your fragments and soul pieces for your wholeness, for your ascension, and for your passionate expression of forgiveness. Now, I want you to receive this sacred apology as meaningfully as you would receive it from any of those men that specifically hurt you. Okay. Because you can interact with any man through every man and every man through any man because all men are joined in the bond of supreme manhood, which is also true for women. Now, the other thing, Charmaine, I want you to see if you can align with the sacred responsibility in you that at some level of your being, you chose to learn and grow through difficult experiences with male energy right you know nothing and no one outside of you chose that right you right. chose that now some of it may have been chosen from an unconscious place right. but chosen just the same right so you choose your choice and in choosing your choice you want to make sure that you're not in a place of resentment right if there's resentment it takes space in the heart and then the heart is not spacious to receive all the blessings that want to get in there. Right. Now, the other thing is that you want to believe in the benevolence of male energy so that you can allow the inner male to move over a little bit mm -hmm. off the central throne. Because when men let you down externally, then you internally stepped up to be your own man yep. and created your own inner male protector. 
Yeah. But he's been hogging the throne of your being and not sharing it so much with the goddess. Yeah. That's the truth. That's the truth. So, so let him move over a little bit and know in your heart that you're infinitely worthy of and welcome to the most benevolent, loving energy that can come from a man. Okay. I mean, once upon a time, I hated the goddess. Once upon a time, I hated my mother. I mean, I've had some dark times. You know, growing up in the treacherous ghettos of Chicago, where all of my role models were pimps and hoes and gangsters and thieves and con men and con women and drug salesmen. And I was a part of that treachery for six years, from 16 until 22. And within that time frame, I had a lot of hatred toward the goddess. And then I turned 22 and the light came on. And I just absolutely love, adore, and champion the goddess. So I say that to say, if I can be redeemed from what I came from, then anybody can be redeemed. Right. If I can move from that treacherous male expression that I was to the male frequency that I am now, then there's great hope for all men. Right. Know that, feel that, honor the softening within your heart, and let it grow. Thank you. I love you so much, and uh, you'll find, you know, on my website and phone numbers, and if you ever get a feeling that you want to do a session with me, then definitely reach out, okay? Oh, okay, thank you. Love you, too. I appreciate oh, it. Oh, absolutely. You are welcome and infinitely worthy, and I want you to know the enormous blessing that you were to so many people, and especially women. And thank you for owning your emotional vulnerability. Thank you for not pushing that down. You blessed a lot of people and a lot of goddesses, a lot of women got healed by virtue of your willingness to hope. I love you so much. Love you too. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs>